Hi guys, Mrs. A here. We have an equation in standard form and we want to find the x and y intercepts of this uh, line in order to then graph the line. So having the equation in standard form is really helpful for this particular method of finding the x and y intercepts. If we wanted to find the slope in y intercept in order to graph it, you would rearrange this to be in the slope y intercept form or the y equals mx plus b form first and then use the slope and y intercept. But if we want to use the x and y intercepts we want to start with the standard form because it's more useful. So I'm going to do my work over here and I'm going to find the x intercept first. To find the x intercept using this equation algebraically we want to sub in y equals 0 and that's because any x-intercept always has a coordinate of y equals 0 that's what makes it an x-intercept so if we take this equation and sub in 0 for the y variable we'll get 4x plus 2 times 0 equals 6. And so what this does, because 2 times 0 is just 0, we get rid of that y term. And we're just left with 4x equals 6. And now it's very easy to solve for x, divide by 4 on both sides, and we get x equals 3 over 2, or we can say 1.5, because that might help us to actually plot the x-intercept on the graph. So this is the x-intercept. This means our x-intercept is 1.5 comma 0. Because we made the y-coordinate 0, the corresponding x, I'm sorry, has to be the value of the, the x-intercept. So now, let's do the same thing to find the y-intercept. So we do the same thing um, but opposite. So if we want to find the y-intercept, we sub in x equals 0. Again, the y-intercept is going to have an x-coordinate of 0. That's what makes it a y-intercept, and that's what makes it cross the y-axis. So we'll take the original equation and sub in 0 for the x. So 4 times 0 plus 2y equals 6. And by doing that, we cancel out that x term. And we have 2y equals 6. We can easily solve for the y coordinate now. y is going to be positive 3. So this means that the y intercept is 0, comma. 3. Again, we force the x to be 0, so the corresponding y value must be the y-intercept. So we have the x-intercept here, and we have the y-intercept here. Those are two points on the line, and we know that any we, we can draw a line if we have any two points on that line. So we're going to graph these now take the x-intercept, and because it's an x-intercept, we have to plot it on the x-axis. We want to remember that. So I'm going to plot 1.5 as my x-intercept right there. And then our y-intercept was 3, so that point zero 0.03 will go on the y-axis because it's a y-intercept. So my point will go on the positive 3 here. And we have two points. Every time you have two points, you can take your ruler and line it up as accurately as possible and draw the line that goes through those two points. And this is the line now for the equation that we were given. So let's put our title on. We'll label this for x plus 2y equals 6, and we craft this line by finding the x and y intercepts given the standard form. 
Thanks for watching Mrs. A Loves Math.